Hi, Matt. Hey, Brian. What's up, Chris? Welcome to Building Up To It. Without Paul, we don't need him. Uh, episode 68, It's a Lego Podcast. I should probably drop that Lego Movie 2 spoiler chat video sometime soon. Yeah. Tomorrow. Maybe that'll go up this week. I don't know. It's been a long enough. Um, neither of you guys saw it, did you? I still haven't seen it, but, you know, that's me. I don't know if Paul saw it either. I guess I can wait. It's not going to go bad. I mean, it might go a little bad. Whatever. I just won't watch it. Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. You're going to have to watch it. You'll watch it and love it. You'll. <laughs> anyway, uh, this week I got a whole lot of more parts to put in my store. And uh, that's fun. That's every day, all day. So I, yeah. I, <laughs> what would, what would uh, Robert say? I got the opportunity to look at Diet Coke Strawberry Guava, <laughs> which mm, I drank that. Sounds it's, good. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. Oh. It is. Uh, I don't know if I've just grown accustomed to awful <clears throat> diet versions of sodas. But you uh, get the beaties though. I've been, I, yeah, I've been drinking the Diet Coke Mango on the regular, Mongo. room temperature. Ugh. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm out of touch in the soda game, man. Man, there's all kinds of crazy stuff coming out. We're looking at Sprite Limonade, which uh, is arguably mm. different Sprite. or also <laughs> the same as Just Sprite. More lime. Maybe they call it Limonade, like with a Y. Like lemonade, but with a Y, I think. Because it's got like the chemical lime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> I think they're going with that because if they if they called it um, uh, lemonade with an I or lemonade with an I instead of a E, so uh, lemonade like that, I think you people would go towards like the Spanish pronunciation of it and not Lima. get the idea that it's lime and not lemon, like limon. So I think that's why they're going with a Y, but I don't know. Somebody found that in Georgia, and I'm trying to see if I can find it. There's also a new Mountain Dew, but we're not here to talk about that. Right. We're here to talk about a lot of topics. I was saying they could spell it with an I, just make the package green. And yeah, uh, I think this is. Uh, it, I think it is green, greenish, yellowish green. I don't know. It's it's Sprite's always a green bottle, so you don't know what's inside unless it's the blue. It's the 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 chew blue. <laughs> then it's clear. Chew, I had a really weird lime in Ecuador that was orange inside. Like the fruit? Not a drink? Yeah. But the fruit? Yeah, like the fruit. The lime that was orange inside. Are you sure it, was it wasn't a rotten orange? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> a raw orange? Just a, a not ripe one orange. Of, yeah, one of the. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing the headset comb over. What do you guys think? <laughs> Could work. To look. I like your artist space or whatever that thing said before. Artist loft. Artist loft. All right. Uh Matt, did you get anything? Uh no. Next. <laughs> Brian, did you get anything? Yeah. Um a couple of weeks ago I went to this store in Warminster PA. And I picked up uh, oh the uh, the War Crusher brick tip the, the Winchester uh, Bloodsport <laughs> yeah some holiday thing there of uh, the uh, the building toy is what it's called ah. a lot of the GWPs don't <laughs> ever have say. names printed on them and I think the names only come from like internal publications but then they get out there and that's what it gets known as but they never write it on the box. And I got this one, also a holiday that's shaped like a present. Fox you know and uh... spinner. Fox and rotator. So that's what I got. Awesome. Sick. Yeah, I got. I get a. My boy at the Lego store brings me all the GWPs. GWPs. And uh, so I had a bunch of those. And I would have told you sooner, Brian, because I know you were at one point looking for that. But I knew that you would be at the store within like two weeks of me getting it, and I didn't see me selling out of it. So I just waited and made it a surprise. I'm glad you still needed it. I'm glad he I still had it. He bided his time. He marked up the price. <laughs> I marked down the price. Cool dude prices. It was. Cool it was dude cool prices. dude prices. The, I, I, 
the sealed stuff I usually go by Amazon in the store and GWPs are pretty expensive on Amazon because it's not where they come from. All right. Uh, Paul will be joining us later and we are doing Spoiler a, whole bunch of, a whole bunch of one minute news mm. tonight. Uh, but first, let's we're bringing look at back the... our most loved topic. One minute news. We like to spend as little time as possible looking at anything and analyzing it. And we just give our expert opinion, just like that guy who loved it, and we all remember his name. I feel like it was Brian also. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I don't remember at all who it was. Um, I just like the idea that we're going to spend as little time analyzing pictures as possible. And we have the, the Brinkalizer here with us. All right. I uh, shall... Uh... I shall accommodate the one-minute news. All right, so uh, let's read some comments from the previous episodes. Peculiar 23, I'd have to argue 501st is pretty high on the list for Star Wars numbers. The fact that BrickLink is not utilizing their customer base to sell their own AFOL designed projects is just sad. The mock shop is still there. It's just kind of a pain to navigate and use. I think they'd be better off streamlining the and curating the mock shop, making it work and smoothly integrating it with BrickLink than continuing with whatever they are doing currently. And I, I have a follow-up from from last week's shenanigans as well. I, as would, I would quickly say I doubt that BrickLink will ever do any licensed mocks because they don't want to get them C and Ds. That's true. I suppose you could look at all the the a full designer program. Final it's all going to be and, original ideas, you know. Which I'm I'm fine with original ideas. Oh, uh, for sure. Last week I kind of went out and um, badmouth Bricklink a bunch about the whole uh, Soho Bricks thing, both on the show and off the show. And then I got <laughs> some talk in the streets, like, "Hey, lady." <laughs> I got some talking to from uh, Bricklink employees, and now I'm kind of going to keep my mouth shut as much as possible because. In the end, if I can't sell on BrickLink, then, uh, well, my life's over. What, so, are they going to be babies about your opinion? I don't know. I just, I'm looking forward to to all the truths being revealed. <laughs> um, Kyle Witter, creator of Snow Cops, uh, actually commented on, the, sent this comment while he was at my store. But do you think... Lego will cut off LCP or uh, Lego certified professionals if they partner with Soho or if they use Soho as a large part of their models without explicitly partnering with them. So uh, Lego certified professionals can buy at like a bulk rate from Lego directly. Wait for it. Hi. Hi, Paul. Hey, Matt and Brian. Hey, and Brian. Chris. Hey, Paul. <laughs> hey, me. <laughs> All right. We wanted to see if we could uh, double start the show when mm -hmm. when you showed up, but you fucked it up. Anyway, <laughs> you said two names. Uh, Paul, you get anything? Uh, no, I've been working. That's all I've been doing. All right, none of us got <laughs> anything. Already. We're good. Um, Lego certified professionals they can buy Lego at a bulk rate from Lego officially for big projects and things of that nature, installations, stuff like that. And that's where we kind of determine that Soho is aiming their product at people who aren't Lego certified professionals, but want to do these big projects at a much cheaper rate than would be available through any ways of getting it directly from Lego using knockoffs in order to uh, have a much larger production. Um, if a LCP were to use Soho bricks because it's cheaper to do an installation. Um, how do you think Lego would feel about that in regards to their, their standing as a certified professional? Well, I mean, it depends if they're said that they're still saying they're using Lego and making a big deal like, Oh, Lego, it's Lego. I'm an LCP. I use Lego. And then people are like it's Soho. Then they're done. I think probably. Dunsky. Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, Paul's Paul's boy Adam is is slash was an LCP, and then he's a uh, he's waist deep in in the Soho muck, so maybe he's not an LCP anymore. 
I would actually probably guess that he is not, but I think he's probably still playing fair with them uh, since, I mean, I don't know, has it ever been confirmed? We just, we have made logical assumptions that he is deep I in. Think he, in I think in I knew that he is. And then uh, I know that they but, are also, they sell their own branded bricks. So they, they, they say blocks of bricks on them instead of Lego uh, on there. And they've got a machine that I've seen run um, that they, that they, they use to kind of print that label on there. Um, but in general, I would imagine that they could probably still keep their LCP um, status provided they don't like, a, like, like, uh, like Matt was saying, they don't say that everything is being built out of Lego in the, in their kind of installation. Um, and if they do sell any, any pieces, they can't sell them, um, them, Based on them being Lego, like Ooh, I know that there have been a, a number of. We have a list directly uh -oh. from the Lego website of LCPs. Yeah, uh, Dirk Denoil, uh, Nick Williams. Nicholas Fu, Rene Hoffmeister. Is there only a couple? Yenchi Huang. Yeah, it's like ten or so. Um, Andy Hung, uh, Wani Kim. Ryan McNaught, who's the designer from Australia, famous for the mom share of he built that giant Lego helicopter and then teenagers smashed it. You know the mom share? You remember that one? I'm sure you've seen that one. I don't um, know that one, but I also heard that I, one. I, I'm not on the mom share radar as much as you are because you love to call out a mom share. <laughs> uh, Jumpe Mitsui, uh, Mattia Puzar, Robin Sather, Nathan Sawaya, you know that one. Uh, George Schmidt and Ricardo Zangelmi. That's it. And I don't know any of them, but uh, two. I think I recognize. Well, they all have links and they all have like profiles on here. Next so. week on the One Minute News, more name lists. <laughs> lists of names. Uh, yeah, if you want to check out any of them, and it has like a little profile and portfolio of their stuff, which is cool. It's great that Lego's putting them out there like that. They don't necessarily need to. But you can check out that list of LCPs on there. Um, I I knew one LCP that I didn't see on that list. Um, forget their name, but I didn't see it on the list. So <laughs> maybe they do uh, switch up that. I I had heard that the 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 application was over, like it's done. Everyone who's in is in, and then we're not doing any new people for that. But that might also be false, Kevin. Answer all the questions that we get wrong in the chat. <laughs> I, I imagine it's a it can be like a rotating list. Like as one is out, then they can bring another one in. I don't know. Is is it like you're done, done? No more people get that status ever again now. Oh, each year they they call the weakest. It could be it could be a renewal <laughs> thing. Yeah, they could. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't build some dope shit, you're out. <laughs> we gave you the parts at a discounted rate. Build. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. War um, Michael. If, if Moms you just, aren't sharing you anymore. <laughs> if you just get a job at Lego, does that automatically make you an LCP? If you're a builder? No, no you, you don't have to buy Lego. the parts anymore. You just get the parts. Oh. And uh, there are two new designers that got hired um, within the last week that we'll Party. talk about later, later tonight. Well, uh, yeah, and do you know who the other one is? No, I only know that one. Back to the comments. All right, we're going to get that. I can't wait to drop the bomb on who the other one was. You're going to love it. Scott H510. Uh, I give zero shits about Soho Bricks or any other knockoff brand. Half the fun of building with Lego is trying to work within the system. <laughs> Might as well get a th 3D printer and make whatever pieces you want. So I agree. It's like this is the artistic medium. And it's the idea of creating things within the structure of here are the pieces, here are the colors. That's it. If if you are going to make your own hashtag two handles or or your own colors or anything like that, then you've completely changed the medium. You're you're doing something else. That's right. It's it's uh it's w not within the rules. It's like you can't you can't make an element with half an electron or something like that, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, can't make a 
Yeah, so I don't know that have any of those. <laughs> <laughs> you're changing the game basically, like uh, to to suit your needs, and so it's not really the same game anymore. It's not that it's a bad game; it's just not the same game. Um, Schneider National, the trucking company, owns the color orange on their trucks. The shade is officially Schneider Orange, says Bone Shaker. That's in regards to something we talked about with colors. <laughs> It was uh, like a, the specific shade of, I believe it was blue. I think that that Matt brought up. Uh, just, just as an example, like someone's specific, like the was the Lego blue or something like that. But yeah, certain companies do have their 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 kind of trademarks, Top, and they, they use Sorry. they use their very own. Like it's it's the very specific logo coloring that they use, or something to that level. Hmm. Um, we have two in a row from Kevin. I don't think he had a comment in by last week's episode. I'm not going to read all his hashtags, just the newest one each time. Because <laughs> he add, he, they, he, uh, they concatenate. So his new one is Fascinator, which, I, again, I completely <laughs> forget what the context is. We were is. talking about the hats. You brought up uh, one of the Lone Ranger minifigs as having the best hairpiece accessory. Oh, and I shit. asked if it was a Fascinator. How do you remember this? <laughs> <laughs> that one came back to me. Okay, he added he added Fascinator um, to the rest of them. There is actually a very brief mention of the Lego Batman movie in Lego Movie 2 uh, when Wildstyle mentions that Batman has been on a solo spinoff for some similar language or some similar language when someone asks about Batman in the first few minutes of the film. Um, all right, he's just correcting something. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he also said he also adds hashtag laser pegs. <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. No. Okay. Uh, quote the Hinkler. Uh, did I make it into <laughs> Batman's Rogues Gallery? <laughs> uh, I haven't been around for the podcast beginning, uh, so it was in. Uh, I it was interested. Finally, interesting. I'm sure. Uh, finally hearing the context behind hashtag two handles. He's been using it, but he didn't know what it was. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I've always found it funny uh, because of its out of uh, its nature being out of okay. context. Um, regarding the Lego ideas review predictions, we'll talk about that later. But uh, he says there are images floating around right now of a grayscaled mini mouse, presumably created for a steamboat willy pitch. The images definitely seem legit. I have a lot of things to say regarding Soho slash Bricklink slash the Lego group, but not online. Yeah, Kevin's going to be on the show sometime soon, but there's a lot he cannot talk about legally. NDA. Yeah. NDA, baby. So there's a lot that he would love to talk about, but he can't. Um, so we'll just we'll get what we can out of him when he's on the show, but uh, it's you, you're not going to get like a tell-all. We should just stop talking about him and he can wear a mask. I told him, I was like, you need to do like uh, like a witness protection thing. Like we'll use the voice masking and the silhouette. You ever see that <laughs> show Delocated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the voices like a, are... It's, oh, like a, it's like a fake reality TV show about a family and FBI witness protection and they all have ski masks on at all oh, times. Oh, I have seen it. It was Adult Swim, right? <laughs> I think so. I, I, I have, like, I have seen that. <laughs> I forgot what it was called, but yeah, that's all the comments. And uh, that's the more comments we get, the worse that segment is. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> we're done. Stop all commenting. right. <laughs> now, uh, we had an uh, absolute ton of little topics we could go into, and we're going to use the Brick Fans photo bank on Flickr as a visual accompaniment to this that's not going to be necessary for you to see it, but it'll be there if you want to see it and follow along. We're going to change the order, Paul, of the topics based on how they are on the brick oh, fan. That way no we don't have to scroll around too much. Yeah, no worries. So One I'm going to, news. I'm going to engage the, 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 the photo sharing and then we uh, will lose me and then uh, we'll lose the show. <laughs> it's okay. Brink has got his bottom third going, I think. No worry. <laughs> All right. Um, so at Toy Fair, we saw Hidden Side, which is a new theme that has its new app that goes with it. And 
the sets look pretty cool. I'm getting, I'm hearing a lot of complaints about the train not being uh, a full train. Everyone's like, oh, I don't want half a train. Oh, what? Look like, at that uh, hair that the, the head can walk around on. That's pretty cool. I like oh, that. Oh shit! I didn't realize that's what they were that's going for know. with it. So this is basically Monster Hunters with an app. <laughs> and there's no um. <laughs> I was gonna say with well, an attitude. <laughs> there, there's there's kind of uh there's kind of good guys like there's the hunters themselves. They kind of have hunters, but it's mostly like what if they haven't? What it's monster fighters, but the fighters haven't shown up yet. The ghosts um, look cool. There's a bunch of sets. Uh, a lot of the figures have two different forms. They've got like the regular version and then the the ghostly or so the idea the best is that version. like ghosts and creatures hiding in plain sight, and you reveal them using the hidden. Yeah, side. so there's a augmented reality phone app that you use. It's the upside to... down. I was gonna say it's the upside down. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's from Stranger Things. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's cool. But the, it has a ton of trains, shipping so containers. We looked at the the price. They have price points and part counts for all the sets. And what is it? Conf Confidential banana, banana din. din? <laughs> banana dinner. Oh, it's a seafood restaurant. Look at that. It's got well, a big it, shrimp. It, it, the a, shrimp is hilarious. Oh, it's got a big sign that says diner up here. That's amazing. Uh, over it's like a, a, a oh, it is. A, it's a scrimp. That's Scrimps. cool. The brick filled shrimp right here. Okay, I like these sets. Look at that tree. That's way better than the Harry Potter tree. <laughs> tree. Hey, you know Brink loves him some Harry Potter, so you better watch out. That's right. So we we looked at the prices and the part counts, and we were worried that there would be like a markup on these sets, being as that they have to not necessarily pay for the app, but you as the consumer are paying for the fact that there's this app and there's just all this but extra functionality that. that's not necessary but oh look at the chalkboard sticker do we need to explain Noise. what what the what this is actually what this line actually is to those who don't know no we're not that show hit inside appears at this point to be a line similar to monster hunters where there's haunted places and things and there's some sort of augmented reality app where you point your phone at the lego sets and it will insert spooky monsters yes yeah, so I, I thought that was the 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 important part to to bring up is that there is we've mentioned the app a few times, but if you didn't know, if you don't know anything about the line, the app does kind of help you to interact with the with the line and with the sets as well. Oh, builds. look at that glow in the dark key! I'm so into this. It's not. It's not. It, yellowish shut green. Up. This is yellowish shut green. Up. It's not glowing the dark. You shut up. In fact, if you watch if you watch the Beyond the Brick interview with uh, one of the guys at New York Toy Fair, they're like, "Ooh, is this all glowing the dark?" And he's oh, look like, at, "Look no, at the youth minifigures. <laughs> the, the youths. Yeah, they have cool youths. new headpieces." <laughs> Are they Utes? Because they're they're on regular size legs. They're Utes. they're, they're more miscreants they and like, teens. They look like <laughs> they look like rabble rousers. That's what I, I, I heard. Say. I heard that the, the plot here is that there's the um, this scientist that's you know roughly in this photo uh, <laughs> created a way with these like big laser guns to to see the ghosts and trap them. So every set has the not ghostbusters. Uh, every every set has the the gimmick of like trap the ghosts that are in this the confines of this set. Oh, and you know um, he's got to be disgraced, so he used these he uses these youths. To, it, it, to do it's a lady. Thing. It's a lady doctor, professor doctor. Um, and then these are the two kids. So the kids are like you, and then there's the the doctor. That's the doctor, and that's a lady. <laughs> not, no, not that one. It's oh. ma'am. <laughs> Do you guys see that fucking custom pop this one. Funko? This one, oh, this one that's a horribly project. off frame here. Oh, oh is, is the, the best it looks dirty. Be doctors too. What is he doing over there? Um, probably aiming one of them big old laser guns. Women can be disgraced <laughs> astrophysicists too. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's uh, there's the diner, the train, the graveyard, the school, the lab, and uh, the school bus, which isn't in any of these. So it's in the background there. So it's, 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 it's like small town USA, but there's there's um, <clears throat> ghosts and shit. That's hidden side. I feel like it's gonna have like a Gravity Falls vibe to it or something. Uh, oh, Flintstone Fred, Fred Brink, there's a, another mention of Gravity Falls, by the way, which is that DVD set that I was talking about in the group chat that one time. Oh, you guys okay. still in that group chat? 
it's muted. It's forever muted. You just leave. So oh, just yeah. leave. Pop in and, and write something, leave. and then I don't know if anyone responds to it because I don't go back and get a notification. Yeah, it's like I Twitter. Know, just... It's a one-way street. <laughs> you put it on there and you leave. I got to turn off. So these sets just look like a great way to farm interesting element pieces. Is what definitely. Like. I mean, That's definitely a way to look at it. And the I was trying to say the, the prices aren't inflated because of the app we no talk a lot about tax. the, the tax no that you'll tax. get there's no star there's wars tax, tax. No city tax there's, there's friends tax and there's dino tax the star wars tax isn't as real but uh <laughs> uh the flintstones the set was revealed and people are like oh there's no dino or the babies so oh yeah that is what that it is. is good thing you can build your own the Dino yeah. was actually pretty um interest the Dino's interesting. Dino's in build. Picture. No, that's not Dino. Wait, no, I, I think he means on the right, like in the, in the actual like the, in that picture, the pamphlet. There. That's there. Um, oh, on the on the box. Yeah, yeah. It, it was there uh, in the original Lego idea, uh, as were the babies, but it doesn't look like there is one uh, in in the actual set pieces or set pictures that are there. We but, can get Flintstones. The Lego this set. The we can get a dinosaurs <laughs> Lego set. This oh, never mind. I'm sorry. This is the one not at the, the baby. Yeah, this isn't that's, the set, is it? No, that's that's it. That's the original thing on display. Never mind. Yeah, I th uh, but I think it is actually. It's surprisingly close. Um, well, here we go. The, these photos are all kinds of out of order. Thanks, brick fan. But here's some more hidden side. So you get the school, school bus, bus, which is like trick the fuck out. Here's that doctor. Oh, there she is. It's the Look doctor and the two kids. Basically, you got a Frankenstein shirt. Pink hair. Is she an admiral or a general in Star Wars? <laughs> Maybe. That was really weird. I watched that finally, and I was like, why I'm is it pink? <laughs> well, Air, um, now that you've watched it, you can see that the the new Star Wars yeah, Visual Dictionary pink. comes with Finn in the medical suit with all the leaking hoses. The naked that's Finn? The, that's the Stabber exclusive. Finn? Naked Finn leaking bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... um. That's coming out in the uh, this month's edition of Star Wars Ooh, book. Look at this beard. I still look at the construction there. worker's beard. Looks yeah, like and then there's. I don't know if they have the photo, but there's like the regular version of the two construction workers, and then the Chris, what? Look at that glow in the dark pickaxe. It's there's not. It. It's yellowish green. It's not a glow in the dark <laughs> color. Oh, whoa, what's that? That's another cool set, the monster Yeah, the truck. truck. There's a truck with the motorcycle. They're all called, like, and then there's Man. Yeah, it's the confidential names. I don't know why they won't put the names oh, out. There's and, a, there's also... oh, and there's a fucking sand-colored alligator. Yep, the tan <laughs> alligator. You know what? I bet he glows in the dark. <laughs> I bet there's not a I've single glow-in-the-dark piece in this theme. That would be a failure. But that would be. is really cool. <laughs> Holy shit. Ryan, you fall over? I'm speaking, good. Speaking of failures, apparently Brick <laughs> just dropped his whole collection. No, I just had a lamp so. fall down. That's Terminus gigantic. <laughs> All <laughs> right, that, that's terminated. That's so, so the they're going to have, have cool pieces. Piece. Like this little one, the lab is only 20 bucks. That's pretty cool. Um, the Toy that Story 4 cool. sets were revealed at Toy Fair, and they are all 4 Plus, which is the new name for Juniors because Juniors is uh, insulting. So <laughs> it's now 4 Plus. Yeah. Okay. Juniors sure. makes people who are over 4 years old go, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that ever. I'm older than 4. I can buy this. <laughs> it's a suggested age on the box. So now Juniors has been rebranded as 4 Plus, but there's all these Toy Story, and this time they're doing the faces like regular minifig faces, which yeah, is see, when an they interesting announced, choice. When they picked up the Flintstones Lego, I was kind of almost thinking they'd do like the larger Disney heads. Yeah, some people had complained about that, uh, at least in some of the community boards. And well, I they don't do new molds for idea sets, so you well, wouldn't look at the get Army new... Men, the mini. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. bring that up. I like that the little, little statues or the the trophies, the trophy figures, yeah. un, unprinted, I believe. Um, but, I yeah. think they're oh. unprinted, but that's the army men. Um, I do want. So you got the little uh, little coaster track. You got uh, some kind of forest thing. You got the carnival, and you got a RC with Woody and the army men, and some blocks. I like how meta is these? How meta are these blocks right now? 
<laughs> the, the aliens it's like are building a Duplo monster out of a uh, out of Lego. That's true. The alien is in more than one set. And oh, Kylo uh, Ren in a, a split open forest. Yeah. So the new Star Wars gimmick um, are these like Angry Birds style. Like this might as well play be set? a phone app playset where it's like well, shoot I the thought, thing yeah. at the thing. It's like oh, that game. Uh, yes, totally. That board, game, that board game Siege. I was totally gonna bring that up. <laughs> Either that or the oh, crossbows and catapults. You, another one. It's even yeah, yeah. It's even red and blue, so you'd have catapults and trebuchets, <laughs> and you'd set up the castle. <laughs> and then the commercial, it always worked awesome. And then you play it, and it's bullshit. Age I Empire, will say Star this Wars. could be this would be a good one. Like if you have if you have kids at the right age, this could be a fun way to to interact with your kids. So it, it's cool for that. But um. I could also yeah. just use these it's very gimmicky to shoot at kids I see. So that's that's <laughs> the, the new gimmicky one. There's uh, at least three of these sets. The little uh, ad ads pretty cool. AT-AT. And then they've got two sets from Star Wars Resistance, which is the TV show, including this fucking pilot helmet with the skull painted on it. That's dope. So that's here's Bobby. Here's my question. If you shoot the target, does the thing blow up? I don't apart? know. I, I'm oh, assuming, I assumed it did, yeah. I'm assuming something true. moves or changes if you knock it down. They might even just like fold back and that's it. So you know that they have been struck. Like a little carnival. Thing. Yeah. Um, there's a no, the... pod racer poly bag. Uh, as po- uh, no, not a poly bag. Maybe a poly bag. Um, the pod racers were cool. The pod race was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> that is part of doing a 20th anniversary of Lego Star Wars for 2019. So we're getting these like uh, reissue figures, which is interesting because they're on yellow tone again, like originally. But it's the think about taking the step backwards of they don't have any cool printing anymore. They just have like front of the torso and the face and that's it. Because um, that's something I, I want. I might go for a wicket. Mini <laughs> yep, yep. The, the uh the red tie interceptor tie here is also from that show. Uh, That's pretty cool. It's interesting that it's like um like I, I kind of called these because like, they have micro fighters before and now these are kind of like bigger. They're so, like macro an fighter. actor mech droid with a rebel helmet on. Like, what? <laughs> what? And then there's there's Leia with that. That's General Leia, I think. Old, right? old Leia is there too, and uh and a, and apparently a trash man. Mm-hmm. Trash car. And, <laughs> and that one pilot. Troopers? Fire troopers, something like that. I don't know. The one pilot doesn't have sleeves. So. Yeah, <laughs> the skull face pilot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I like the idea of this uh, the Star Killer base dual set where it just, you just kind of it has a hinge, so you just open it and say, like, "Oh, and everything's exploding." You have any trash compactors? <laughs> um, I like that idea of this set. But same it's, movie. <laughs> it's the same movie. Yeah. Except for that scene. Uh, let's keep going. Um, we got. Entirely too many photos for the Flintstones. This is, must be the, the full press release photos. Yeah. So let me see if I can get one of the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I guess the go. box is good. I mean, you have the house, you got the the car, you got four figures. That's it. That's oh, what you get. Star Wars Triple Force. Triple Force Friday is. No. I don't even know what that is. Um, Flintstones is happening. If if you want it, you're gonna get it. If you don't want it. Um, I think it'll be it's gone within a year and a half. For VIP, it was out uh, this past Wednesday. Today. Today. They've been dropping well, some things this really soon Friday. after <laughs> us seeing them. Like The, the like leaks the, uh, have gone the down, I feel. The, as well. the funny thing, this is oh, directed look directly. Look at the uh, Unikitty table base plate. Oh, the cloud. Wow. Yeah. Using the cloud as the table. This thing's nice. all A-fall, right? I mean, kids don't even know what the Flintstones is. Right. <laughs> that is true. Correct. <laughs> it's, also, it's, like, ten, it's also ten plus. It's like, mom, <laughs> mom why, why do they make Legos after these vitamins that uh, I eat? I don't know. <laughs> do they still even have those? <laughs> Probably. That's an old bottle, dude. It, it's, That's an old it's, bottle. It's twenty million strong and growing now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I'll probably pick it up and I'll have it uh, go. With, it'll it'll sit along with the other kind of nostalgia sets that are there. Up, Paul. Yep, indeed uh, I will. Robo Dino is awesome. That is pretty badass. Okay, so comes with are uh, they Newman. Doing a show? Newman's in it. Are they doing a new show for Jurassic I think this World is based Lego? on an ex- a, a old show that they did, like a like a direct to DVD kind of Lego Lego fied okay. Jurassic World show. Looks like we got more baby raptors. 
bats. As well, bats you know, for some reason? Dino mech. <laughs> So I there's, there's a few lives. new dinosaurs. The dino mech is awesome no matter what people tell you. <laughs> um, so I love that. I love that. I love Nublar. I like the little dino launcher. merch card. There's a, uh, there's a uh, oh, yeah, net drone launching drone. drone Look at this drone. All things are belong to drone now. <laughs> I like that uh, brown, that, the brown dog, actually, that comes with the oh, yeah. set. That's a new print for that dog. It's the husky mold. Yeah. Is the tail. It looks but kind it's, of a uh, German Shepherd did out of it. But it's brown. It looks like my dog. Dog. That's, that's pretty decent. My dog. Um, the my the the, uh, the build on this um. Wrecked fence here is pretty cool. What are those yeah. Infinity Stones that they have? Those are just oh. gems. Oh. Okay. Oh man, I really for a second I was like, did they repurpose that mold already? Way to Did go, they guys! Do something new with the camera. There's a handle on it. That's that's just a two piece. That's the uh, the old like space rocket with the um the no the gas pump nozzle on top of oh, it. Oh, it's stuffed into it. It's okay. just a new I build. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a little... look at the app for hidden side. You you know you hold it up. You is it a game? You do vertical video and you <laughs> you uh you tap stuff and you you slice some fruit and I don't know. Mom, um, can I borrow your phone? I thought you were playing your Legos. In, that, in the Isle Nubbler, <laughs> oh, they've already announced the new. In the Isle Nubbler, there, there's all different baby raptors. Do they appear in all the sets, or is there just the one? Uh, let's see. We've got none in that one. Uh, none in that one. None in that one. There's one with the two. There's yeah. three. There's three of them on that raft. In oh, the no. no, there's there. four. There's four on the raft. That's the one, one you get. Yeah. I'm gonna get that set for the Dino Mac and the Raptors. I I don't know what the price point on this one is, but like it's, it's the biggest set. Be, I think it was one fifty, one thirty. Oh, I don't know if it was that high. One twenty. I think it might be one. Wait for that Mastermind maybe. Toys deal. Yeah. <laughs> There's a pod um, for Sweet Mayhem. So they've already oh. started re-announcing new Lego Movie two sets. Yeah, the uh, the second wave of Lego Movie two sets. Now were these all were these all like like awesome scenes from the movie? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think wave two all... in the first movie, like the, the wave two, like the second wave, were like the ones like yeah, there's that one that's awesome, like the Benny. Space I mean the the, the, the triple decker couch that turns into a mech is awesome. The unit, the angry kitty with the the this, um, this, car this wash tail. brush tail is awesome because that that <laughs> does appear in the movie. <laughs> and you know, it's not something we thought we might see physically. Oh, there's, there's the sparkly, uh, uh, the castle, the spa. They're all like, oh, Ninjago looks like so it's sad. Up ready to end. I still don't know now. that they're going to get away with calling it Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the 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 uh, the vampires, right? Yeah, we have the um, white hot air balloon section battle pack here. With how many of the hot air balloon segments are in this thing? Probably two whole like balloons worth. Lego elf set for sure. Yeah. Um, so many Unikitties so, in the <laughs> Ninjago. Ninjago is going into maybe its final season. I don't know. March, That's why they're so like sad. Like, these like <laughs> teaser pictures look like it's March of the what? Oni. Oni. All right. Uh, here, Paul, you want to talk about these stickers for some reason? Go for it. Well, I didn't. It's actually, it was more. Um, we already Matt brought it up. Them. No, you didn't. No, you we already talked about them. We talked about it. Stickers, Lego extra stickers. You can put stickers on stuff. Yeah, I just thought it was, it was, it was interesting. I guess I don't like stickers at all, but this is a, a way to kind of. Well, I like some of the ones that I I recognize from like the Lego City game and stuff, like the toy shop. And uh... you know what I'm noticing is uh, this could oh, like shit. potentially like was that say Clutchmore Elementary School? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bro. what's that, Chris? There's a subway <laughs> map. The subway map is pretty cool. Yeah, I just, um, it's just, actually, I wonder what this is going to do ultimately to like those who do custom tile printing and all that kind of stuff. I wonder if they hate this or if they're well, like, they're oh, good, this is going to encourage, it could be that this is going to encourage people to really customize their own cities now. So maybe well, they're going to buy these and then they're going to be like, I wish there was other stickers. I like the pizza one where the guy's head is exploding. Wait, where is that? On the toy one. The middle one? The middle one. This... In the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should say that I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of these stickers are classic '90s stickers, like slightly updated. Oh, there's mm -hmm. your Mount Clutchmore up on the, the the one all the way on the right. 
Yeah, and there's also uh, this cool food market one I like. But this uh, this crazy looking sandwich here, this falling apart looking sandwich. Is that the Pierce knows that sandwich. The, the sandwich that's a total punk. This is a sticker. And I think it even says classic on it. This is a sticker from the 90s idea book. Classic. Um, that is reminiscent. There's a lot of stickers on here is that are. Is there any old uh, like Beware of Shark stickers? Do, 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 do. Oh, that's like the, oh, that. Is that. That's a banana <laughs> peel. Um, hmm. You also get some pieces when you buy these sets as well. Okay, yeah, there's like some you signs. Like sign stuff you would and... apply to the stickers too. Yeah. These uh, coral ones and the fish are all very reminiscent of the Divers series. Coral. <laughs> um, there's one of the dino on it. says Rock Festival. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, there's some. There's a museum sticker. Is that a right crab? Here. Let's go with yes. Yeah, there's a crab. This right here, yeah. yeah <laughs> Lego Movie yeah. 2 Brickheads. All right, so Lego Movie 2 Brickheads came out. Two at Walmart, two at Target, only online. And like super a, limited, like it's I I, I don't really. They understand. only made five thousand of each, and each box was numbered on the outside, and they kind of just dropped it all of a sudden, and it's only U.S. Uh, release, and it was only online. I don't know that they're going to hit retail stores, um, unless they just kind of reissue them unnumbered, because once you open it, I think it's all the same as if they reissued it, but the box. Had a big foil sticker on the bottom left. There's like a triangle sticker on the bottom left corner of these boxes that had uh, the number out of 5,000. And uh, is Emmett, Wildstyle, Benny, and Sweet Mayhem. And they were, uh, they're selling for like 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks each to other countries plus shipping because they can't get them over there yet. It's crazy. Uh, to well, they'll probably that. release them soon. Maybe. Yeah, I, got a I, I few. would imagine they will. I got a few of them. Um, Look at uh, Woody's lasso. <laughs> that's cool. I wasn't going for, like, I'm going to buy these and I'm going to make a lot of money. But um, I bought them for a friend who was like, you got to buy these because I want to make a lot of money. So I bought a bunch <laughs> of them from Target online. And he gave me three for my trouble. And I was like, all right, I'll put them on BrickLink. $50 a piece for three bennies. Sold all three. Nice. Like, wow. Same day. Nice. One, one to Denmark and two to Australia. To the yeah. same guy or to or like two people in Australia both want? No, yeah, one, one guy one was like, like well, I'm, I'm in Denmark now, but I'll be in Australia later. And I want <laughs> three. So <laughs> Very quick there, Matt. Um, yeah. There's Duplo for Toy Story. It looks like one set. So that's Super a thing. Babies. I just find it interesting Baby. that they were so limited on the on the brickheads because I don't really. It's a. Uh, I don't know if it's them like everyone. Okay, yeah, you guys all love the the SDCC or the NYCC figures, but they're too limited. So now we're gonna do something similar for you guys, or it's just one of those that like the other. It's the other way. It's like all right, fine. We'll we'll we'll, we'll put some, we'll put some of these out, but. But I don't want to put out a lot of them or anything. It's, it seems so odd that they have they capped it to only five thousand. Um, it just seems a, a weird that's, thing for Lego to do. That's Mr. Regular. Gold numbers right there. And then, yeah, uh, I guess that's then, true. Then Lego like, announced that they want you to play the same game three times in a row <laughs> with the Lego Marvel 3 game collection. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to come with the figure. It looks uh, like they also, oh. I don't know if we're going to see it on here, but they we talked about it last week that they, uh, they repackaged a bunch of the straight-to-DVD Lego movies uh, with all three figures from the Dimension starter set. So the Gandalf, Batman, and the Wild Style. Oh, yeah. So they, like, re rebulked out the package, and it's got those three figures, and it's like, come on, Warner Brothers, how many did you make? You know what I <laughs> noticed? I was going to send you guys a video. was at Walmart. They had a bunch of Warner Brothers movies with um, those, what are they called when they're, Two images changed between them on the cover. Lenticular. 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 So there's lenticular covers between the actual movie cover and a Lego version of that cover. That's so pretty like cool. Wonder Woman and Batman versus Superman and all these like big titles like that. That is and cool. It, yeah, I was going to send a video, but I didn't because I was lazy. <laughs> so here's the other brickheads. I don't think he's got a picture of like one in hand where it's got the foil sticker, but it's this silver triangular sticker on there. 
not a big deal. Uh, more Star Wars. This is part of that anniversary edition where they have this little dumb pedestal with the printed plaque and and a figure that looks just like it did in 1999 when <laughs> that figure came out. Um, mm-hmm. The only difference is the back of the torso has a has pretty much this logo that's on the plaque is also on the back of the torso. Oh, so you're getting weird. you're getting a <laughs> like it's got no new paint apps for lack of a better term except for that one on the back so you're you're missing all the like the arm printing the leg printing and all the double face all the technology they've come out with you don't get that anymore i forgot that that's how they used to give them guns back then (laughs) (laughs) that is cool that they're sticking with that for this one i remember Um, the first lego game i ever played i was like that's right they have those big ass guns (laughs) uh we get this walker guy comes with um I like Darth that. Vader. This, this is like a uh, dropship, kind of a that. redo of the original Shadow Trooper and Three Stormtrooper dropship. Comes with the Han. Uh, Snowspeeder comes with the Lando, which was like the first time that there was a figure of a different skin tone. <laughs> that was a, kind of a deal. Uh, that's Luke, pretty cool that that set comes with three stormtroopers. That's like a nice. It's four actually, including this dark one. Including the shadow, the shadow trooper, yeah. yeah that's a good. Time. I remember getting that back in the day because I really wanted that shadow trooper. I have an army of those shadow troopers. I really like it. I don't know that I'll get this new one because the old one might even get cheaper at this point because it's got a lot less printing. I like the blue accents on the shadow trooper, and this one doesn't have any blue. It doesn't look like. I like the blue how it stands out with the black. Mm-hmm. The, the pod racer looks a lot better than the previous ones they put out, and that comes with the pilot Luke. Um, and then here. They brought the motherfucking suckers. There you go. New slave one with the old Leia, with does does not have the smooth hair. That would have been a great opportunity to give her the smooth hair. That everybody's talking about Zuckus right there. Leia that is with a, the smooth a, hair. The final bounty hunter for the Lego bounty hunters. You get four Lom again. We got him last year, but now we get Zuckus. It's all done. I, I'm gonna have my my six bounty hunters in Lego and in uh, six inch black series. That is yeah. my plan as well. Call All I need is that Zuckus. I'm, d- I'm not buying this set. I'm just going to get myself a Zuckus at some point. Yep, that's that's worth uh, getting that one, spending a little extra just to get the figure. Um, uh, Let's see. There was this build. like There was this event at Target that has to do with this bag, and now the bag's on clearance. If you see this cart at Target, it's pretty cheap now. Um, might oh, be going back those, far uh, enough. What are those uh, evil-looking dudes there? This? Oh, the Oni? Yeah, there's a there's a battle a blister pack for the new season of Ninjago at the Lego oh, store. Cool. People are freaking out because they're pretty Look menacing looking. Thing. This is the nemesis prime of Lego. <laughs> right now. SPF, yeah, the Iron Claw collection. I like how this guy's gonna get you with his like tassel stick. <laughs> In the middle. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Hit you with your own pimp. That's kind of cool that they found a use for the pod like. Dig this shit up. <laughs> Dig this um, shit out of here. You get your, your limited edition bag clips or whatever these are. At, yeah, I saw them uh, McDonald's. Today. Oh, no, this is movie theaters. Oh, boy. Actually, the Unikitty one's pretty decent. No, what they are they? At McDonald's. They're like, they look like purses. I don't know. They're oh, like little this plastic. is them. Oh, what they're guys. Little activity piece, like activity play That's set. That's a slide thing? puzzle. I don't know what's happening in this one. That's they're a very... spin the bottle game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt, you gonna get these with your Muddy Max collection? Yeah, no, not. Quite oh, this is McDonald's. Thing. This is McDonald's, but it's oh, only in theaters for the, the movie. movies. Only in theaters. Got it. Yeah, this is McDonald's. Like movies. Cause... There's the conveniently placed apple slices. They won't be eaten. <laughs> mm, they will not be eaten. Uh, that's um, that's probably it, right? Here's that fox I was telling you about. That nice. Everyone oh, saw yeah. during the movie, and everyone's there. I knew that. Is that a dog? Like a. Like a bulldog next to him? Oh, look at the that weird is a dog Fabuland there. figure, yeah. The watermelons in there. Uh, what else was on your... headed object back there. Yeah, these oh, are Fabuland figures. What else was on your um, your oh, list? Let me take a look. Um, One minute news. Let's... One minute news. Oh, the... um. The, most, the, the, the newly revealed uh, Lego idea sets that just got approved. Yes, so we uh, we got, and I don't know, did you watch the video, Paul? I did. It was only like 45 seconds long. It was like super Who short. The yeah, they got to the point. In fact, they, they told you what it was before they told you what it was because the guy comes out with a damn uh, 
boat captain hat on, and then the whole <laughs> thing's the black and white, and it's like, if you haven't guessed by now, it's Steamboat Willie and also Friends, and then they make a bunch of terrible Friends. We're going back to the racist days of <laughs> Disney to celebrate. <laughs> so they're going to do uh, Central Perk from Friends. That Not surprises me. Lego friend. So I will admit I was incorrect. I said they wouldn't make Steamboat Willie despite the Disney license. What happened to Mastradamus? <laughs> well, you know what? I just thought the set was lame, and I just didn't think it was wouldn't be something that most people would give a shit about. Well, sure I get they, it. It's like the they first re-engineer it however they want. It might be cool now. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's a it, it's an interesting one. The, that one I, I have no desire for Steamboat Willie, so I don't know if I'll pick that one up. Um, yes. But I am a big Friends fan, so I'm likely we're likely going to get the Central Perk set. But I'm surprised that they made it. Other than the fact that hopefully this will be like, look, we made we made a pop culture. It's going to be the shop. new brand of stop, Lego Friends. Stop submitting more <laughs> pop culture coffee shops. This is we did one now finally. Um, but I gotta say, <laughs> the like mo- the modular coffee shop series where they all <laughs> connect to each other <laughs> implausibly. I want the bar from Cheers. Yeah. I, I want that. I also want Cafe Nervosa. Yeah, I, but I, I would have to guess that like th- there must there must be some amazing deal that they that they have with who is it Warner Brothers like who who is who does who's got the the studio for Friends like to for the for the anniversary it's got to be some huge promotional thing that they're doing because I don't understand why they would do they would finally do this one all of a sudden other than the fact that sure it's much more popular than Gilmore Girls you're right um, but uh, but yeah it seems it, this one surprised me. Even though they, I yeah, am they probably kind of they probably they they reach out to like anything that hits ten thousand they they start some sort of investigation into can we do this, and this must have been a they reached out to whatever the production company is and they were immediately like yes perfect timing let's do it and like was like oh shit we were hoping you would say no, <laughs> so just like with with like. Voltron coming out like okay we get we're, we're gonna have this there's a big Netflix cartoon coming out there's a resurgence in popularity for Voltron yeah so we'll put out a Voltron set I assume there's something similar is with with, with Friends Friends has always been popular in, in syndication and all that stuff has a lot of fans already but there's, there's gonna there must also be a push for something with the 20th well, anniversary just, I think there was just the drama around it going off Netflix and then the could oh, be it got it got a million bucks to get back on and then they canceled a bunch of shows and people were like they're canceling these shows to pay for friends which isn't true but yeah of course it's not <laughs> one of the uh, door prizes at njcc uh it's next voltron. month is going to be a lego voltron and all the pictures they used were the original images from ideas <laughs> oh, yeah. not the final product i thought and it looked pretty cool <laughs> i really hope it's not a weapon one like oh that'd be so i don't know who's submitted it. that wasn't the realm right brian yeah. It's no. Hanny. <laughs> if it was Hanny, it might be. The it, <laughs> Hanny mailed it over. It's, if it's the Leppin one, I, I don't know what I'll do. Probably you know, nothing. It's a, that, that's another one. It's it's just it's a funny thing. This so someone just didn't do that additional step of research to do the actual like production photos. It's just like that picture that I think Ace Milo posted a picture that like the Transformers official um, like Instagram page posted a picture of the knockoff MP36 Megatron. <laughs> It wasn't even the real Megatron. They didn't know the Decepticon symbol or anything like that. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, what do you think the um, what do you think the Central Perk final set is going to look like, given what the um, Big Bang Theory That's what I, room yeah. looked like? I think I think it's going to be like a two or three wall. They're going to have that front window with the door, and they're going to have the back wall with the bar. They'll do the couch. They'll have the little table, you know. It. I mean, it's definitely gonna be truncated in a lot of ways. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna the size things it. together. It. It could just be like some bar, the couch. Finally, we're gonna get a window, mini figure it. hair piece of the most iconic hair of the '90s. I, I'd say there's some that are <laughs> relatively similar. Oh no, man, yeah, the, the veterinarian from <laughs> series whatever. That is definitely the Rachel. Even the social light one, like the, that one is pretty, oh, yeah. much, it's pretty much there too. Is that the same hairpiece in a different color though? I don't remember. The same one. I don't know. Um, it's They've had such a range of part count and price for the different idea sets that it could be all the way up to something like the, the fishing hut, Anton's, whatever it was called. 
<laughs> like it could be a, like a one story modular really where yeah. like you have the outside of the building did we ever see the outside of the building it's not like it's not like no, Seinfeld, no, no, no. Right? have we ever seen the outside I you, think, you, I think, vaguely, no, no, it, it's, in some them. some scenes, in some seasons, you can see it from the window. But you don't see the, it. the street, but yeah. it's like a studio street, like yeah, yeah, car sitting there. I was thinking, like, if they did like a one story, it's coffee shop. You can take the roof off, and it's small inside, but like it's got what you would have, what you would expect to have for this kind of set. But it's still, it has an outside of the building, and you can plug it in with the other modulars. I mean, that it's New York, cool. right? It's New York, right, friends? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it would have to be like a coffee shop with an apartment, a building above it. So they're never going to do like the whole thing, I, right? No, but I mean, they don't have to. It can be a one-story building for the Lego set. That's fine. But no, it'll probably be it's not going to be a market. It's just going to be like a Bang Theory dollhouse type. That's what I, I think. It'll be like that. I would love, like in 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 an ideal world for me, I would love it if it was a coffee shop and then there are apartments on top of it as it as it is in the design. But I'm sure that I will never happen. Pick up the friends before you know because it's way more popular. What if they <laughs> did the friends set with mini dolls instead of minifigures? Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> I'd want Ross Ross mini doll. <laughs> You know what? They should just uh, make they should make everybody minifigures except Ross make him a mini doll. (laughs) Hi. (laughs) Well, how do you think that would go? Because they've never had mini dolls involved in ideas at all. I think a lot of people would lose it. What if you had a project and you put it up and you only use mini dolls in the project just because that's what you were going for and it was popular and it got to ten thousand and then it. And it got made, and what would the reaction be to a mini dolls in an ideas set? Or here's what I go. This is what I say. Let's, re- Let, let's work together. We'll resubmit the Central Perk Friends Friends version, where it's mini dolls, <laughs> and it's all like Heart Lake City. <laughs> we'll just do like one of the two apartments from Friends. As a companion piece to the Central Perk, but they're all mini dolls. Ra- instead of mini- Rachel's, Rachel's, and Monica's apartments way yeah. better than, than Chandler's. I don't know. You got yeah. many like recliner, mini build options. I love, I love how they're across the hall, and that apartment is like half the size. Art, Art Nouveau, and it's got like a big bay window, and it's like all this like cool architecture. And then you go across the hall, and it's like a white box. <laughs> well, I think that's like a, a. It depends on like what side of the building it's on. That's like a yeah. outward it, it would be like the, the It would be like the the the, the nicer like the, the loft one, the loft apartment or whatever. But uh, it was because that was their grandma's. <laughs> yeah. How they figure out the. With all the swaps they did, how they figure out the rent split? Because the rent's definitely more at the one on the right than the one on the left. It was rent controlled. I do remember that as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah, no way rent. they could have afforded to live there. We're in yeah. some, like unemployed for so long and yep, <laughs> struggling actor. When it forced to become like a a coffee shop girl, and then <laughs> like all that stuff they had, and then Monica was definitely unemployed for like two seasons. Like it was. Yeah, it, it was uh, the only ones that had steady jobs were Ross and Chandler. I, think. I can't wait for the comments on this video from like a whole new demographic of our listeners that we don't even know about yet, but have always been there. That are they like, only talk when they're pissed off. Am I right? <laughs> right? Could I be yeah. any more pissed off? <laughs> um, that's coming out, and the Steamboat Willie, I feel like, is going to be. It's probably going to be pretty close to the the original one where it's like here's the boat it's on like risers and then there's water kind of like I the hope, the yellow here, submarine. Here's what I, ho- I I hope they put a little crank on it so the 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 stacks. I, I want to say there is actually like you can put a <laughs> and, I think you can put a motor smoke and the Mickey and dances. Down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, the did we um. We talked about on this show that somebody put the uh, that original Doctor Strange movie set connected it to the Big Bang Theory set because it's like the same color palette across the back wall and it's the same layout. And they're like, this just became the most ridiculous apartment ever. 
because it's That's like hilarious. both sets of the same footprint and you could connect them and it's like one wall sanctum, yeah sanctum mysterium or whatever it is and then sanctum like, sanctorum sanctorum two latin. words that mean the same thing because latin um banctum banctorum the sanctum sanctum big dum banctorum i wanted to say but that's gone now clearly <laughs> um what else was on your list paul um i think we we covered most of it new actually designers new designers yeah all right so there's two new designers that get hired by lego because uh even though they did like a eight percent layoff or something like that did they get the eight percent too maybe i wasn't i i don't know it was they did a big layoff because they didn't get more enormous of, of as a company than the previous year they didn't lose money <laughs> that's, like they just didn't... that's like blizzard activision yeah exactly 800, exactly. 800 people yeah. but they did record record profits this just, year it's not as much <laughs> we were planning they didn't, they didn't on meet their goals <laughs> <laughs> this much more money than last year but we made our 800 just more money than last year oh man um, it's just funny when you look at like Nintendo from the '90s, where like they were struggling, but the CEO just took a pay cut to keep everyone on because he believed in them, and then they came back, and it's like, oh man, if only if only there were cool guys, <laughs> cool guy prices, cool guy salaries. Um, so they've actually had two designer hiring waves since those layoffs, which is interesting. The first one, from what I've been told, was mostly internal uh they they pick people who already work there to become designers and then the new one they have two people who got hired i don't know if it's more than two but there's two that names that they put out there uh first is uh chris mcveigh i hope it's not actually mcv and like i've always said it wrong but we're gonna go with mcveigh i've always said mcveigh as well he's known as power pig and apparently um there's another name he's known as but i know him as power pig or chris mcveigh he's the guy who makes the brick sketches looking. He makes the um, shit, it's the other thing he does. Uh, the ornaments, all the Christmas ornaments. I think he even put out a book, yep. like a Christmas ornaments book that I'm sure Paul bought. <laughs> He's um, got some like arcade sets and all that kind of stuff too, which, which is cool. all going out away. Like because now he works for Lego, he can't sell Lego on the side anymore. So he put out an announcement saying like, "Come and get your shit from my site because it's all going down in in a week. You got a week to get it." So because I'm big time. <laughs> now I'm a big deal. I'm moving everything I know to Denmark. Um, so he got hired. That's awesome. He's going into yeah, the architecture and creator expert uh, line. So he'll be working on those. So I'll be buying more of his stuff then. <laughs> and the other person who got hired is uh, Jamie Wheeler, who, if you are a longtime listener, you will know as the designer of the uh was it the corner coffee shop modular that didn't get approved on ideas but lepin made it without oh, asking oh yeah nice so that, yeah, that's we, we did. Job earlier yeah that's very cool Customer maybe that, that means we're going to get some 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 good modulars <laughs> coming <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know if both of them are going into creator expert and architecture or if it was just uh just chris uh but I could see Jamie going into some either creator or the creator expert or something big because um, he does good work with uh, with the modulars, obviously. Mm-hmm. So that's that's cool. They hired those two. It's cool to see a foals that you know from the community kind of rise up and uh, get assimilated into the into Lego. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, mm-hmm. you, your ideas are too good. We, we want you over here. <laughs> so we'll, uh, you, we're, we're going to put more constraints on you. But if, you've ever seen, you. if you've ever seen the movie Rockstar, it was probably a little something like that. With Marky Mark? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Which is loosely based off of the story of Judas Priest in the 90s. Did these, but they uh, disassociated. These designers, do they have to submit like their best helicopter design or police station <laughs> or fire engine design? Very good question. Um, they, probably, they probably give them like bricks and they're like, build a police station. And then they're like, oh yeah, I that get it. Is a little like, trick question. You want a helicopter. That is part of it. Uh, basically, 
you can apply online on their website and you you actually you create a profile for yourself and you put up your portfolio of your work and uh, it keeps your profile so when there's new listings for jobs you can like resubmit it you don't have to redo everything every time which is cool they, they keep you on file uh, but yeah you put up a portfolio Carter uh, the designer that works for me he um, he's been steady applying for that job as well and maybe someday he will get to move to Denmark and and design uh, all kinds of robots I'm sure <laughs> if he quits drinking maybe <laughs> I don't know Swig. What's the reference? I just thought it was funny. Drinking beer. <laughs> I mean, that's that's Andrew. Oh, that's Andrew. Shit. Yeah. Not Carter. Not Carter. Carter's been on Bricks and Beer with me at the same time in California. No, Carter did the um the the Blade Runner spinner and the yeah, Xenomorph yeah, yeah, and the two funny. robots, and he 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 is the one who uploaded fifty thousand parts on uh, Tuesday. Not me. Into my store. Anyway, he's just. Keeping you relevant, man. Number 20. 20 largest in America. America. Um, Brian, thoughts on everything? <laughs> one minute news with Brian. You have one minute. You have one minute. It's all great. It's all fantastic. <laughs> you have anything you'd like to talk about, Brian? Uh, no, not yeah, particularly. You've been pretty quiet, man. I just happened to be free on Wednesday. <laughs> Or Friday. You've been uh, you've yeah. been pushing yeah, my Friday. Hand. I've missed it. Friday, it's six AM. <laughs> you've been you've been what year is it? Uh, <laughs> you got some free time on your hands this week, Brian. Yep. Something like that. That's good though. Well, I assume I that you were on like the hands. like the the cool table network world tour, just like 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 uh, Chris was at one time. Where I'm going to be on a, on one show every day this week. So so it's enter ent the realm, then break in the mold. Now, now it's well technically recording today, but uh, on Wednesday. But but uh, yeah. So now you're on building up to it, and then you're going to be on Nerd Rage, and then you're going to be on Shattered Cast, or whatever. <laughs> just going to go through the whole thing, Masterpiece Shippies Theater again, that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, gotta make the rounds. It's fun. <laughs> It's nice being on a podcast and not having a job to do. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, uh, Brian, let's, let's, let's chat. Brian, let's chat. <laughs> uh, let's see. Kevin Henkel was here. Uh, Scott H510. <laughs> Gillier23. <laughs> Blockhead UK. That's it. <laughs> uh, I'm sure a big girl. Oh, yeah. Big, big girl. girl. Big girl. <laughs> All right. Well. We didn't have like a discussion topic per se. We just had all these news, newsy things. It was uh, um, one, minute one minute news. news. I think Toy Fair only had Star Wars and Hidden Side, um, and and uh, and Toy Story and the Flintstones. Only was, announced was it there? The Jurassic Park. Park. I don't know. The Jurassic Park sets were announced as well. But I don't know if they were there. Oh, Jurassic World. I thought I saw something on the. It might on have the, been that on the toy arcs when I was browsing through. Yeah, you got to get a the uh, the non Lego fan perspective of it to see what's what's really there because like the the Lego fan's gonna go to Toy Fair and only take pictures of the stuff that hasn't been seen elsewhere before. Mm -hmm. But a like, toy arc or whoever will go there and they'll, they'll take pictures of all the sets that are already released, but they're 2019 sets, so it's new. A lot of times uh, at the things like Toy Fair, they'll have like the whole year's worth of stuff there, but much of it has been out since Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Quick shout out to our sponsor, Artist Loft, for today's episode. They provided this uh, foldable aluminum Gigante Studio easel. Nice. Thanks. Gigante. Thanks, Artist Loft. <laughs> All right, I guess uh, take us out of here, Paul. Get Sounds out of good. Here, Paul. Well, when I, of course, think. Mr. Brian Brink himself, the, the the Brinkalizer for being on the show, and again making that uh, cool Table Network World Tour. Does that you, work smoothly, lifetime peace? <laughs> it is indeed. Uh, if if you Did love you what Brian one? had to, um, he's got the bracelet. On. Oh, you got the bracelet. Yeah, you <laughs> it's, it's this is your bracelet, I believe. Um, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> if if you love Brian's insights on our show you today, 
put off. No, I'm just show. just waiting for the show. <laughs> <laughs> I have lifetime peace for my lifetime. lifetime peace. Um, if, if you liked hearing Brian's thoughts today and would love to hear his thoughts on other things, check him out on all the other shows on the Cool Table Network. Shows <laughs> such as Enter the Realm, Brick in the Mold, Ficka Bangin', Stasis Lock, Nerd Rage Radio, Shattered Cast Uncut, Plastic Fanatics, Toy Detox, Beer and Vultures 40K, Eight Weeks, Fresh, Fresh Communications, Verbally Challenged Now, Probably Masterpiece Shippies Theater eventually, and... Uh, you can even see him occasionally dropping a comment in that group chat that we were talking about, but uh, not, not making any comments past that. Um, also, check him out on the Facebook page. Uh, search for Realm of Collectors on Facebook. And uh, also interacting on uh, on the Realm of Collectors uh, Instagram page. As uh, you, Are you Brinkalizer on, uh, on IG? Brink? I am. Yeah, yep. Check him out and look for Brinkalizer. He's uh, Brinkalizer on Brinkagram. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Brink is part of the Cool Table Network and part of the Brummel Collectors. Brummel Collectors itself is a very friendly family to go along with these shows that are not necessarily family friendly, but are all still great to listen to. Fuck that up, man. <laughs> I try to keep it to Ooh, a similar translation. translation.